All right, Viola. So the second way that we can decide if we need to play low two or high two is by looking at any accidentals in the measure. So an accidental affects a note only for that measure. We've talked about this a little bit before, um, but hopefully this will help to jog your memory. So if there is an F natural in the beginning of the measure, it carries through for the whole measure. But then when we get to the bar line, the bar line is kind of like a reset button. And we're going to go back to saying whatever the key signature says unless we see another accidental. So in Essential Elements 126, which is part of your assignment this week, uh, your key signature has an F sharp in it. But at the beginning of each measure, we have an accidental. So it's telling us at the beginning of each measure that that measure is actually going to be F natural, even though we have an F sharp in the key signature. So when you say your letter names out loud, it should sound like this. F, 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 E, F, F, F. So all of those are going to be low two F naturals. In 127 in essential elements, we start to mix it up a little bit. So we have this symbol here, which is like a carrot top symbol. And that symbol means half step, which is the same as a minor second, which means that your fingers will touch. That's kind of like a music um, way to take notes on your music to tell you that your fingers are going to touch there. So when we have to play F sharp, third finger to second finger will touch because it's going to be um, third finger to high two. But over here, we have an accidental, and that's going to tell us that we're going to play low two. So we have a whole step. So there's no carrot symbol here because that's going to be a space between your fingers. So we do have an F sharp in our key signature. So we're going to assume that our Fs are going to be sharp until we see that accidental. So saying your note names out loud, it'll sound like this. G fish, G circle set, G F G circle repeat, G fish, G circle set G F G I don't know there if I was singing the right notes but that's kind of the idea that you should get when you were uh, saying your note names and when you play it on your viola you can check with your tuner and make sure that your notes are sounding the way that they should sound really paying attention to those high twos and low twos now we're going to combine all of those things together. In 128, take a look at the key signature. It does have an F sharp, so we're going to assume that we're going to play high twos until we see an accidental. We do have an accidental here, so that tells us that this measure is going to be F naturals. But over here, we have a second accidental, so that cancels out the first accidental, and we change it up and play F sharp for the rest of the measure. Um, over here, there's no accidentals in this measure, so that's just going to be F sharp. And then we have no accidentals, yes, accidentals, and then we have that double accidental. So the second accidental cancels the first accidental. So you're going to write in these top yellow boxes the note names. If it's an F sharp, like this first F here, you're going to put F sharp or F hashtag. And then Underneath, you're going to write high two or low two, or third finger, or like over here, you've got an open G. Whatever the finger number is, you're going to write that down here. If it's supposed to be a high two, you'll put H2. And if it's supposed to be a low two, you'll put L2. And then you'll finish filling out each of the squares for each of the notes, and then you'll be all done. And you will turn this in to me at the end of the week. Let me know if you have questions. Good luck. Practice slowly and carefully, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.